Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to build a custom menu. And a lot of themes have custom menus that you can put in. As you can see, we're using the 2011 theme right now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Menus. And let's take a look at what we've got. Right now we've got an Archives menu that I've actually shut off on our home page. And I'm going to pull that up so you can see. As you can see, I've taken that menu off. But let's look and add a new one. Right here it shows that we have an archives menu, so let's go ahead and add a new one. And for this menu name, we're going to put in My Custom Menu, and we're going to click on Create Menu. Now we've got all of these boxes over here on the left that it's going to allow us to begin building our custom menu. So we've got our custom links that we can add here, we've got our pages we can add, we've got our categories we can add we also have the formats that we use most. So if you want to go ahead in and put a custom link, we can go ahead and do that and click on Add to Menu and it's popped up. Now let's do another one. Let's go ahead and put our Contact Me page and our Sample page and click on Add to Menu. Using our drop-down, this shows us for the link what our navigation label is and the title attribute. You can remove it or you can hit Cancel. Next is the Contact Me page, and you can also click on here what the title attribute is and remove or cancel. And for the page, the same. Navigation label, title attribute, remove or cancel. So let's go ahead and click on Save Menu. Now also you'll see right here we have an automatically add new top level pages. And I'd like to actually do that, so I'm going to click on that and click on Save Menu. Once I have that done, I'm going to go back out to my themes and I'm going to go to Customize. Now I'm going to click on Navigation and here it's going to allow you to change from your primary menu to the custom menu that I just made and I'm going to click My Custom Menu and I'm going to click on Saved and once it saves I'm going to go back out into my WordPress page refresh it and you'll see that it's come up as my first menu. So that's how we can do a basic customized menu through our themes, but there's another way to do it as well. And that's by going out into our plugins and clicking on Add New. And then you can just search in here for Customize Menu. Search your plugins and then just find a plugin that will do what you want it to do. Remember to look for ones that have high star ratings and check through their descriptions to make sure that they actually will put in a menu like one that you want. So that's how we can do customized menus two different ways. So thanks for listening. I hope this helped you out, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.